How to make millions as an OFW or overseas Filipino worker. My personal research and what I found out. Hey guys, it's your friend Sally and back with another eye-opening topic that could potentially change your life. Lalo na sa mga kababayan nating OFWs out there. I've been researching how to make millions while working abroad. And trust me, you will be surprised at what I found. So, grab your coffee, sit back, and let's dive into this. Before we start, I just want to ask, have you ever wondered why some OFWs manage to come home and retire early, living the good life, while others, sadly, find themselves still struggling even after years of hard work? Kung natanong mo na yan sa sarili mo, then you're in the right place. Let's get real. Isa sa mga biggest challenges ng mga OFW is the mentality of padala. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with helping out our families back home. But, let me tell you this, if you want to become a millionaire as an OFW, kailangan mong baguhin ang mindset na ito. Imagine this, you're earning in dollars, euros, or dirhams, but every time you get your salary, halos lahat padala sa Pilipinas. E paano kaya yaman yan? Here's the truth. The key to making millions is not just in earning more money, but in how you manage it. Start shifting your focus from padala to invest. How? Here are some strategies I discovered. Number one is real estate investment. I know, I know, real estate sounds intimidating, right? Pero... Did you know that a lot of OFWs have actually become millionaires by investing in real estate? It's one of the safest and most profitable investments you can make, especially in the Philippines where property values keep going up. Here's what you can do. Start small, maybe buy a condo unit or a small piece of land. Then, either rent it out or wait for its value to appreciate. You can even explore house flipping where you buy a property renovate it, and then sell it for a profit. This strategy has made a lot of OFWs millionaires. Second is the stock market and mutual funds. Don't let the stock market scare you. Kahit OFW ka, you can start investing in stocks and mutual funds. Think of it as buying a small piece of a company. The best part? You can do this online. You don't need to be in the Philippines to start investing. Maraming OFWs ang umaman by consistently putting part of their salary into these investments. If you're new to this, start with mutual funds or exchange-traded funds or ETFs. These are managed by professionals and are less risky compared to individual stocks. Consistent investments over time can compound and before you know it, you're on your way to becoming a millionaire. Three is to start an online business. As an OFW, you have a huge advantage. You're exposed to different markets, cultures, and trends. Bakit hindi mo ito gawing opportunity? Starting an online business is a great way to diversify your income. You could sell products or offer services that are in demand in your host country or back home. For example, kung nasa Middle East ka, you could start an online shop selling Filipino products that are hard to find there. Or... You could create a drop shipping business where you sell products online without holding an inventory. The possibilities are endless and the income potential is massive. OFWs are known for their hard work. But what if I told you that working smarter, not harder, is the secret sauce? Enter the world of side hustle. Ito yung mga extra racket mo on top of your main job. Why are side hustles so powerful? Because they diversify your income streams. Number four is freelancing. With platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, you can offer your skills, whether it's writing, graphic design, programming, or even virtual assistance to clients worldwide. You would be surprised at how much extra income you can earn with just a few hours of work per week. And yes, this can significantly boost your savings and investments. Number five is investing in passive income streams. 
Passive income, ah, the dream. Sino ba naman ang ayaw kumita ng natutulog lang, ba? Diba? One way to achieve this is through rental properties, as I mentioned earlier. But there are other ways too, like affiliate marketing, content creation, or even creating digital products like ebooks or online courses. Let me tell you about a friend of mine. He's an OFW who started a blog about his life abroad. Eventually, nagkaroon siya ng enough following to monetize his blog through ads and affiliate marketing. Guess what? He's now earning six figures in passive income. What if you could do something similar? Now, here's where it gets serious. You can have all the strategies in the world, but without discipline and financial literacy, it's all for nothing. I know it sounds boring, but hear me out. Number six is budgeting and saving. Ito na yung part na hindi masyadong napapansin ng iba. But it's super, super important. Create a budget that prioritizes your investments and savings. Yes, I know, it's tempting to buy that new gadget or luxury item. Pero isipin mo muna, does this bring you closer to your goal of becoming a millionaire? Start automating your savings and investments so hindi ka matutukso na gastusin ito. 7 is to get financial education. Invest in yourself, guys. Take the time to learn about financial management, investments, and wealth-building strategies. Attend seminars, read books, or even get a mentor. The more you know, the better decisions you will make. Remember, financial literacy is key to maintaining and growing your wealth. Lastly, understand that wealth building is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, patience, and a lot of perseverance. Number eight, avoid get-rich-quick schemes. Alam mo ba na maraming OFWs ang nabibiktima ng get-rich-quick schemes? Nabiktima na rin kami noon. These are scams that promise quick returns but end up robbing you of your hard-earned money. Stay away from them and focus on tried and tested methods of wealth building. Number nine is consistency is key. Remember, the key to making millions is consistency. Whether it's consistently saving, investing, or growing your side hustle, the results will come over time. Don't be discouraged if you don't see results right away. Stay the course and you'll reap the rewards. How to make millions as an OFW is not easy, but it's definitely possible. I hope you found these tips helpful and I encourage you to start applying them today. Remember, the earlier you start, the sooner you'll achieve financial freedom. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow OFWs, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Let's build wealth together one step at a time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.